What is up guys, so in today's video we're going to be playing some World War 2 as you can see And also I got my voice back, I'm actually pretty hyped about that Because now I can make some really dope commentary videos And you know, I'm on that daily upload grind unless something happens So I kind of want to catch you up with some things Alright, so I finally hit Prestige 2 My Mountain Division is at Prestige 3 We also got two variants, one for the car and one for the Springfield and if you've seen yesterday's video, you already seen how the Springfield looks. But, you know, I'm going to show you again because, you know, this variant honestly looks really cool in my opinion. I just like how it looks. The thing I kind of hate about it is because the diamond, you know, is kind of scratched up and messed up. The crossfire looks really cool in my opinion. And comparing it with the other scope, it honestly looks like this one is more harder to hit something. And this one, it makes it a lot more easier in my opinion. And this is the variant that we got for our car. Honestly, looks pretty cool. We got, like, some leather in the top right there. And you get this variant when you prestige your mountain division, I'm pretty sure, because that's when I got it. But the thing is, the thing I hate about it is, you know, diamond camo scratched up, and I'm not really a big fan about that. You know, it just it looks so rusty, and, yeah, the diamonds are just kind of screwed up right there. But, yeah, if we come over here to the quartermaster, and we go to the collections, and we go to the Springfield, there's actually this variant that looks pretty dope, as you can see it. The diamonds look shiny. There's not a lot of scratches on this gun. There's, like, an eagle right there in the middle. The thing is, is, and this costs a lot. It costs a lot of currency, so that honestly sucks. I honestly don't know if I should try to get this variant. Honestly, I think I might as well get it, because I kind of already bought the other ones. I'm pretty sure they're going to add more variants, so I think it would be a lot more better to just save my currency. But I think I'm just going to get it because, one, honestly, this looks really dope. But, yeah, guys, now I'm going to show you some highlights that I got today. Honestly, I didn't really get too much. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So in yesterday's video, I talked about a monitor and I talked about a scuff. Since I have my voice back, I think I might as well just talk about it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the monitor because one, I'm really excited about the monitor. I'm finally getting a monitor. I never had a monitor before and I heard that improves your gameplay a lot since like, you know, the screen's smaller. The frame per second is like a lot more faster than the TV because I use a TV. I don't know. I don't know how much inches this TV is, but it's pretty big in my opinion. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. And it should come around the 16th through the 21st. So I can't wait for that because, you know, I feel like it's going to improve my gameplay. And, you know, I'm going to show you some good clips. I'm going to hit a lot of bangers, hopefully. And it's going to be lit. All right, so now I want to talk about my scuff controller. All right, so I have really bad news about my scuff controller. And I feel like I didn't really use the scuff controller as much as I wanted to. Because, you know, when I got the scuff controller, it was when Black W was out. A couple of months back, honestly, I don't really know how long I had this for. But I'm pretty sure I had it for a while, but I didn't really use it too much because, you know, Black Ops 3 was really boring because, you know, it was pretty old in my opinion. And Infinite Warfare, you know, nobody liked that game. Honestly, I kind of liked it a little bit, but then when you just kept playing it, it just, I don't know, the game just got really boring, and so I might have just well played Black Ops 3. And I also didn't really like Remaster as well because the game just felt too campy and I wasn't really all about that. So my scuff controller has been sitting there doing nothing, just collecting dust. But my right panel to my scuff controller does not really work. I mean, it works sometimes, but it doesn't really work at all. You kind of have to press the button really hard for it to work. And it honestly sucks because now I kind of have to change how I play because, you know, I use my ring finger to press X, aka the right panel, so then I can jump. But as you can see and hear this as well. Okay, as you can hear that, I wasn't really jumping right there. I mean, at some points I was, but you have to press it really hard if you want to jump. But the thing is, that kind of sucks because I don't usually press it hard. You just got to tap it really lightly or however you want to, and then you'll... And then you'll jump, so now I just kind of have to change up how I play. I don't really press the panel anymore because it's useless. Because there's some points where it doesn't really want to work, even when I press it really hard, so it just sucks. Also, I could get my scuff controller repaired, but I don't know how much it costs, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get repaired. Also, I should probably just buy a new one, because this one kind of is already kind of scratched up a little bit. The thumbsticks was smushed down. The thumbstick of the rubber part was kind of smushed down because of something... 
that was on top of it. So I think I might just get a new one. Honestly, I don't really know. I don't kind of have the money right now because I bought the monitor. But maybe later on in the future, I will buy a new one. I don't know if it's going to be the PS4 one or the Impact. But this is a fact that I am going to get another Phase 2.0 scuff controller. Well, that's if I, you know, get a new one. Because, you know, you got to phase up every day, bro. So, if you're a FaZe fan, you probably already knew this because on the FaZe channel, they made a top 5, they brought it back for whoever has the best clips are going to be featured in this top 5. And whoever gets number 1 can actually get a free scuff controller. I'm pretty sure it goes to, it could be a PS4 controller, Xbox controller, and I'm pretty sure the Impact. FaZe used to do these top 5s back then. And if you didn't know this, that Apex actually got noticed by FaZe from sending in clips that were on the top five and that's how he got noticed by phase and then eventually made it got into phase so honestly that gives me an opportunity that actually gives a lot of people opportunity so i'm really excited about that i'm gonna grind super hard now and it makes me a lot more motivated to just see that they brought back top fives and i just really want to be on phase clan as well i just love phase a lot so i i feel like i have to and you know i'm trying to get in and that's it for today's video. So if you have enjoyed today's video, smash like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.